Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making the easiest recipe ever. We're making broccoli soup and basically the only thing you need for it is broccoli. So there's a few other things that you can get to funk it up at the end, but this one's so simple, it only involves overcooking this. So let's just get straight into it. So all we need to do to start with is just get rid of the main part of the root. This part can all stay on, but this part where it's been cut, it normally is a little bit firmer. And then we're just gonna cut it into small pieces. So a lot of the time you might cut it off there, but there's nothing wrong with this part. Even in Michelin style restaurants, we used to um, cut that off, make it really fine and then pickle it. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And you just wanna have really thin pieces so they can cook quickly but you just want to utilize the whole vegetable so there's no waste. So the two key elements for making this really, really good is to have heavily salted water because that's going to keep it green and it really needs to boil hard. You don't want it simmering, you want a hard boil and that's also going to keep it nice and green and also if it isn't cooking at high temperature, these will generally start to fall apart by the time this part is cooked. So you really need to get the heat into it so you can get a nice cook, like even cook, and without any discoloration or the tips um, like disintegrating. So that's all we really need to do. My broccoli is all trimmed up and ready to go. So let's just jump over to the stove. We're gonna go in with small amounts at a time. So that will prevent the water temperature from dropping if you can just jump into the blender and adjust the seasoning and consistency. So these have been cooking now for about four and a half, five minutes. We're just gonna knife test it and you can see that the knife is just going in super easily and it's actually starting to break. So that obviously means if the knife is gonna break it, then the blade is definitely gonna break it. So we can just jump into the blender and then that can go on. And right now you can see it's super green, but it's also super thick. But we don't want to adjust that consistency until we've done the rest of it, just because if we add too much liquid, there's no way of getting it back without boiling it down. And when you boil it down, it just changes the, um, the color of it and the flavor of it. So we want to keep this one really fresh. So we're just going to add in our next batch and we're going to repeat that until we've added it into there and then get it super smooth. And then we're going to add the water and the water is what's left in the pan. And if you want to make it even quicker, then stick a lid on it. Okay. So we can just turn the heat off and then liquidize this. You can see that the blade isn't catching the broccoli because it's basically, it's too thick. So we need to thin it down. So I'm just gonna go in with two ladles to start with, and then we're just gonna check on the consistency and see how it is. So. Check the seasoning, make sure it's got enough salt. That is perfect. So we can just grab a bowl and plate this up. So this can go straight into the bowl. You can do it in a mug, however you want. And then to make it that little bit more interesting, I've just got some goat's cheese here. And you can just crumb bits of this over. This one has been rolled in ash. I was looking for the plain one, but I couldn't find any. So it's just a nice bit of goat's cheese. And then to make it a little bit special, even dinner party worthy, just gonna drizzle a little bit of truffle oil over the top of it. And that is my simple broccoli soup. And then just to make it that bit special, I've got some goat's cheese and truffle oil in there. So if you like this video and you wanna see more simple, tasty meals like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. And 
If you've got any questions, then hit me up in the comments and I'll definitely get back to you. So um, until the next one, happy cooking and I'll see you there.